Hello everybody and welcome to Scape 2. Scape 2 project involves rural regions of Europe countries, territories with a lower level of productivity and employment but rich in landscapes and heritage. Supporting the development of transnational thematic tourism strategy. Model 2. Different models of rural tourism. The tourist product. Focus on rural tourism, S, M, E, S in Europe. Introduction. Sometimes it is very confusing to distinguish between a resource or a product from the touristic point of view. In this module, the learner will grasp how to difference them and how to design a tourist product. Moreover, the elements and actors involved in the creation of a tourist product are explained. Table of Contents Point 1. Defining what a tourist product is Tourist resource versus tourist product Value proposition analysis Characteristics of the tourist product Point 2. How to design a tourist product Identify tourist resources My customer Demand identification and segmentation. Point 3. My product. Elements I have to define. My channel and analysis of the value proposition. And point 4. Actors involved in the creation of tourist products. We are going to see the point 1, defining what a tourist product is, resource and tourist product, tourist product and tourist package. As defined by Junto, a tourist product is a combination of tangible and intangible elements, such as natural, cultural and man-made resources, attractions, facilities, services and activities around a specific center of interest which represent the care of the destination marketing mix and create an overall visitor experience including emotional aspects for the potential customers, a tourist product is priced and sold through distribution channels and it has their cyclic life. Tourist resource versus tourist product. The tourist resource is the set of attractions that a destination has and that makes it different from another 
Natur, City, Historical, Heritage, Cultural, Manifestation, etc. Tourist Resource versus Tourist Product The tourist product is the set of goods and services, tangible and intangible goods and services that visitors enjoy during their visit to a destination. It is not allowed to have resources, but they must be structured for tourist use in order to become tourist attractions. For example, you have a river in your city and you turn it into a experience where you can do water sports in that river. Value Proposition Analysis What makes my product different from the competition? You have to look for original, disruptive and experiential proposals. In this picture, you can see two photographs of two examples, Astro Tourist and Magic Mountain Luch in Chile. Characteristics of the Tourist product. Intangible with tangible elements, obsolete, agreeable, heterogeneous, and they are produced and consumed at the same time. There are some stages to move from a resource to a product. The first one is tourist resource. Then we have to value tourist resource. We have got tourist attraction and then we will have a tourist product. Moreover, we have to keep in mind some important issues like facilities, tourist activities, image and symbolic value, tourist site, infrastructure, and image brand. How to design a tourist product? Questions to ask yourself. What do I have? What do I offer it to? What do I offer? How do I offer and deliver it? What I need to be able to do it? Why? Then we will have a result. My touristic resource, my customer, the segment, my product, my channel, my resources, my value, proposition, and all the things will give us the product. Identify Torin's the source. What resource attractions do I have? Tangible, like natural, beaches, mountains, animals, species, etc. Buildings, church, museums, etc. Events, festivals, sport events, and things like that. And intangibles, folklore, languages, legends, etc. Identify Turin's resources. Open your mind and have an innovate vision. For example, in the picture one, we can see Fallas, festivity that combines tradition, satira and art in Valencia, Spain. In the number three, we can see activities 
for a different type of groups like seniors, children, etc. And in the number two and the number four, we can see a different types of natural experience. Then you have to think about all these things and create your own experience. my customer, demand, identification and segmentation. This is a key aspect. It is necessary to look for a market niche that is not very exploited, with a known potential and that, and that you can really access. For example, river fishing lovers is an example you can see on the internet. When you are studying your customer, you have to take into account different aspects such as geographic, for example, Asian world, demographic, age, gender or family situation, for example, single parent families, psychographic, social class, lifestyle, etc. Eligibility collective, socioeconomic, middle class, upper class, etc. And behavioral, for example, Game of Thrones, fans, etc. You have to know this information to be able to direct your entire strategy in that direction. When you are analyzing your customer, you have to think what is a right customer profile. What does he or she looks like? Origin, age, purchasing power. What does he or she expect to find? Basic product, more other ID elements. What do you value? What are your needs? Accommodation, catering, transport, laser activities, information, etc. My product. Thinking about what we see. What is the theme? What activities do we want or can we offer? Who can we count on? Thinking about we want to transmit to the tourist. What is so special about it? What souvenirs do we want tourists to take away with them? What expectation we want to exceed? Continuing with my product, here we have a table with contents that we can relate. Transformative services, self-realization, privileged services, self-esteem, spaces for socializing, etc. In memberships or in secure parking, look on the door, etc. Psychological needs like bed, tap water, etc. My product, elements I have to define. One, goods, services, auxiliary products, two, tourist resources, three, infrastructures, four, management, five, brand image, six, price. After that, 
we will have our touristic product. My channel, marketing of the tourist product. A, price and promotions. B, communication. C, sales channels. Identifying my resources as an organization. Capital, staff, specific knowledge, infrastructure, and partnerships. Analysis of the value proposition. The value proposition. Explain how your tourist product solves the customer's problems or improves the customer's situation. Something relevant. Clearly specific a benefit, like a value. Tell the ideal customer why they should choose you and not your competition. You have to differentiation. Must be easy for our target customers to understand. Value proposition analysis. Examples of value propositions. The first one, Bolivian hotel. Promotion of Bolivian culture, gastronomy, and philosophy of Bolivian life. Accommodation rural, rural. A rural and versatile tourist services housing in a scenic environment infrastructure suite tables for four families. Ibis Hotel. Sleep well and pay little. You can search more information about all these things and other examples. Players involved in the creation of tourist products. There are three types of players. Private organization, public organization, and the collaboration between the two. Private organizations. Here are some examples of private companies that have turned the resource into a product and services to sell such as wineries, rural homes, value experience. Public organizations. Sevilla City of Opera is a tourist product developed by the Seville Tourist Plan with the participation of the Junta de Andalucía, Sevilla City Council and the Confederation of Empresarios de Andalucía. Content of the product, ticket for the opera, at least two overnight stay and one route along the itinerary Sevilla City of Opera. Public and private collaborations. Product clubs, tools of tourism management and planning that through the joint collaboration of public and private initiatives make it possible to develop and market new tourism products with greater added value for the tourist. Thames Club de Producto, product club of lodgements, restaurants from rural areas of Comunidad Valenciana that has the support of the Consellería de Turisme Valenciana.
in Valencian community Spain. After the conceptualization of the product club, both the Conselleria as owner of the brand and the association of entrepreneurs needed to develop a plan to market the club. You can visit the website Thames de Interior and see a real example of this type of activity. Additional readings and guides. World Tourism Organization. The concept of a tourist area cycle of evolution, implications for management of resources. E-Tourism. Information Technology for Strategic Tourism Management Long Tail Tourism New Geographies for Marketing Niche Tourist Product Sustance Project Sistema Integral de Calidad Turística Española en Destinos Subdirección General de Desarrollo y Sostenibilidad Turística Instituto de Turismo de España La Constante Evolución del Turismo Innovación, tecnología, nuevos productos y experiencias. Turismo rural en España, paisajes y usuarios, nuevos usos y visiones. Elevator Pitch. You have these links and documentation when you can learn more about this topic. There is a quiz to see what you have learned in this module. Thank you so much for your attention.